Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKit1313 and welcome to my tutorial on how to install the mods for my single player modded Let's Play series. Um, now this is just an update, I have done a few other tutorials, you can see my uh, forum post right here with my uh, previous video, with one of the updates. Uh, there's been yet another big update and if you want to see the exact things that I have updated, you can go ahead and go right here, I just recently updated it. Uh, you can see that there's a lot, uh, especially with the forge and uh, smart moving and a very big forestry um, update. Uh, so, I'm pretty much just going to show you how to install all the mods. Um, just you now, going to redo everything. Uh, however, if you have already had these mods installed, you know, from my previous update, being these ones right here, all you have to do is re download the mods. Alright, well, not all of them, but re-download the mods that I updated. So, you know, go ahead and look through here. And then I updated um, most of the links. Okay, so I updated most of the links for you. Um, the only ones that I don't have are these two right here. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, basically, just find which ones I've updated. Go up here, click on the link. I suggest right-clicking on it and saying Open Link in New Tab. And that'll bring you to the brand new... Uh, page where you can find the download, uh, so just go ahead and do that. Alright, just kidding, those links have been added. You can now find the link to NEI Thawncraft and NEI Forestry. So just a few things that I want to say before I start the whole tutorial on how to install all these mods. Um, a few things have changed. I believe that there has been an unofficial release of Buildcraft uh, being 3.1.6.25. Uh, so if you go here, you click on that, and it will bring you to here where you can find the new additional pipes as well as the new build craft. Alrighty. Uh, now, I updated this because there was a little bit of a bug with the teleport pipes, and I believe that this should fix it. However, I guess we will find out later on in our Let's Play. Uh, so that's one thing that has changed. For the any any I plugins, hold on, it didn't seem to load properly. For the NEI plugins, uh, they're pretty much just on the same page as the mod. Um, uh, for, so for Thawncraft, you go here, and it'll bring you to the Thawncraft Minecraft forum page. Uh, scroll down, and right here it says check out the NEI plugin. Go ahead and click that, and you can download it. And then same with the for Forestry, it'll bring you to the downloads page, where you can scroll down and eventually find NEI plugin. Alright, so there you go. Uh, it's just a few things, so again, if you have already installed these, go ahead and just install them. Or not install them, but delete the old ones, replace the old ones with the new ones, and then go ahead down here where I have updates, and you can find the configs either right here, or you can find them under World Download, and I say Emergency Config Upload. Okay? And you can go click on that, they're both the same link. So you just go on that, you'll download a zip file, you then copy the whole contents, or you unzip the zip file, and you copy all the contents of the zip file into your Minecraft, or your .minecraft folder. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show you how to install all these mods. So first things first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to my, uh, my page right here on Minecraft Forums. Uh, the link to this can be found in the description, as well as any other links that I may mention uh, that are not on this page. First thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to go here, right under the multi MC video, which hopefully should be changed. I'm going to make an updated video on that. Uh, you're going to go here. You can just click on everything, um, and it'll bring you to the download page or the mod page. Anyways, just go ahead and find it, and you shall be fine. Um, so, yeah, just go ahead. Go through all these pages, download everything, make sure I like to organize them into separate folders. So go ahead and do that, and then once you have that, you'll go over, and you'll need to find your .minecraft folder. Now if you don't already have a shortcut, I suggest getting one. But if you don't have a shortcut, you can go ahead into your start menu and press percent, app data, percent. This will bring you to your roaming folder, in which you could find your .minecraft folder if you have one. I happen to have one on my clipboard from here, and I'm just going to put it in there. You can see that it is brand new. And what you're going to do first is you're going to open up your bin. When you open up your bin, you should see a minecraft.jar. You're going to right click on this and open, up, open it up either with WinRAR Archiver or 7-Zip. Either one shall work. Stupid message. 
Okay, so first things first, you're going to delete this meta imp folder. Click on it, press delete, press enter, and you are all good. Make sure you do that. If you don't, then you will get a black screen and nothing will work. Uh, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to wherever you have all these mods downloaded. These are the jar mods. Um, so that means that they have to go into the jar folder, or the minecraft.jar, sorry. Uh, what I have here is mod loader for Minecraft 1.2.5, Minecraft Forge 3.3.8.160, I have world tweaks for 1.2.5, I have code chicken cores 0.5.3, I have not enough items 1.2.2.4, I have smart moving 9.4.2, and I have player API client 1.5, which is required by smart moving. What you're going to do is you're going to click on all of these except for the smart moving. All right, uh, you're then going to press enter, open all of them up at once. This makes it easier uh, since my uh, trial period ran up. I have to go through that message every time I open it up. And first things first, you're going to find your Minecraft.jar, and I just drag it to the side. That way, it's easy to find. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to find wherever you have Mod Loader. I have it right there, and you're going to highlight everything inside Mod Loader, and you're going to click and drag, press OK. Once you're done with that, you're going to exit out of Mod Loader so that you don't put it in there again. Next thing that you're going to do is you're going to have Minecraft Forge. And uh, by the way, just a quick note, uh, while it is not, I believe, absolutely necessary to install these in the order that I am, you still should do it just so that you know everything works. So just do everything in the order that I'm doing. So again, that was Mod Loader after Mod Loader. It was Minecraft Forge. I let everything click and drag, press OK, exit out. Uh, the next thing is you're going to get World Tweaks. All right, so highlight everything, click and drag, press OK, exit out of there. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to find Player API Client. You're going to highlight everything, click and drag, press OK. You're then going to find Code Chicken Core 0.5.3. You're going to highlight everything, click and drag, press OK press exit. You're then going to find not enough items, highlight everything, click and drag, and press exit. Alright, so now you have most of the jar mods installed. The only thing left is smart moving. Now what I like to do is I like to extract it to its own, excuse me, to its own folder. Alright, so just right click on it and say extract here, or extract to wherever. Again, excuse me, soda. Mm. Uh, so now we have smart moving 9.4.2. Double click on that and you'll see a few different versions. What you're going to do is you're going to click on the smart moving client for mod loader. We're using this because we have my mod loader and we also have client. So there you go. You're going to double click on that and exit out of that. You're going to highlight everything, click over, drag, OK, exit out, exit out, exit out, exit out, and uh, I'll keep that up for now. Now you're going to go into your minecraft.exe, you're going to log in, you're going to do all that fun stuff. And then, hopefully if everything works, we should be able to move on to the next step. So there we go. We see that we have Minecraft Forge, the right version, and everything's working smoothly. I like to do this just so we can make sure that we have installed everything in the jar uh, correctly. That way if something does go wrong, we have a good idea about where it went wrong. So with that done, you're going to go back into your .minecraft folder and you should see a few other folders we see mods, and we also see config. We are then going to go into our mods folder and find wherever we have all our mods downloaded. I do have one in the download section, however I'm going to use the ones from something that I already know that works. Alright, so right here, mods. Alright, so this is, you know, something that I already know where everything is, um, and I know that it's all updated and, you know, good. So, you're going to make sure that you have raise minimap. 3.2 underscore 04. You're going to make sure that you have additional pipes client 3.2.0.3.jar. This is the newer one. Uh, I believe it's like the unofficial release or something. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, you're then going to have advanced machines 4.1 client. You're then going to have additional buildcraft objects, whatever is the latest version. Alrighty. Uh, so get that. Uh, you have buildcraft client 3.1.6.25. This is all you need. You then have Crafting Table 3, Build 1.8. You have Equivalent Exchange 2, Version 1.4.6.6. You have Farming Content. This is part of Z's mods, but it's just a special part. Uh, it can be found, you know, the download right there, Farming Content. 
and you have that. So you have forestry client 1.4.8.4. You have nether ores 1.22. You have industrial craft 2 1.97. You have inventory tweaks. It says it's for 1.214, but it's really a lie. It's for 1.2.5. It's just that nothing really changed between those updates. Uh, laser mod 1.5. You have logistics pipes 0.2.5 B. You have compact solars 3. Point, or sorry, you have compact solars 2.3.1. 2.3.10, you have iron chest 3.4.28, you have NEI forestry plugin 1.0.2.9, you have red power plugin 1.2.2, you have thumbcraft plugin 1.0.6.15, you have red power control core lighting logic machine wiring and world all red power 2 pre-release 5 build 2. You then have Thongcraft 2.1.6D. You have Timber. Again, it says it's for 1.2.4. It's a lie. Uh, transport thingies 2.0. You have wire Wireless Redstone Chicken Bones Edition, Red Power, Core, and Add ons. You have all of those, and you're going to highlight everything. Uh, this is added afterwards, so just you only need these zip files and jar files. You're then going to copy everything over to here, and there you go. Now, if we were to run this, we would run into a lot of errors. Or errors, and trust me, I mean a lot of errors. So what we are actually going to do is we are going to go back, and we are going to go back into my uh, thing right here that I have, my forum post, and you're going to find where I have either updates, or you can go to where I have world download slash configs. Right here is the most up-to-date config, but this is the same one. All right. So I'm going to click here, and it'll bring you to a media fire page where you can find Draw 1313 Season 3 Configs, Update 3. You're going to download this. Alright, so it is downloaded. You're then going to go to wherever you have your downloads. And you should be able to find... Oh yeah, I changed my download folder. Hold on. Ignore this, ignore that. And, uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, so now, I'm just going to put this in the right place. I'll have to fix my download default location later. So now we have that. We are then going to double click on it, and it brings up a WinRAR window. Alrighty. So now that you have that, you see all the configs that you are going to need. You're going to highlight everything and click and drag into your uh, .minecraft folder. You're going to say yes. You're just going to say replace everything. Do all that fun stuff. You can then exit out, exit out, exit out. So now all the configs should be working. We're going to open up Minecraft. And we should see eventually everything work. There we go. There you have it. Everything works. Everything is all fine. I uh, do not have my Let's Play in World in here, but I'm going to go ahead and just create a random world and just show you that everything is working as it should. Any second now. Okay, there we go. You notice that we have a smart moving option. Cool. Um, which is awesome. We then also have, I believe, uh, with my configs, it's, da it's disabled by default, but if you press F9, it'll go ahead and enable it. However, if I were to press F9 right now, it would actually stop the recording. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. Going into our inventory, we see a whole bunch of different things. We see transport thingies, we see red power 2, lots of red power 2. We then see some build craft, we see some uh, uh, compact solars, we should see some advanced machines, more red power 2, equivalent exchange, iron chest, forestry, thong craft, industrial craft 2, laser mod, and all that fun stuff. Okay. So, there you go. You have just installed all of my mods for my Season 3 Let's Play correctly. If this, uh, if this tutorial has helped you in any way, please help me out by leaving me a like on the video, or go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, my Let's Play is already up to episode 25, probably 26 uh, by the end of today, so you should definitely go ahead and check that out. We have some fun stuff going on, and uh, yeah. This has been Drawing at 1313. Again, with any questions, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. If you have an error report, I have a tutorial on how to send an error report in my uh, forum post, so go ahead and check that out. If this was too difficult for you, go ahead and check out my tutorial on how to install them using MultiMC. I'll have that updated later today as well. 
So hope this has helped you, and I will see you all later.